we had to stop our ways and if we don't uh, we're gonna be stopped by this universe our economic activity is gonna be much quieter much mic more micro by a combination of physical viruses that keep us from great commerce and trading and globalization to virtual viruses that might render the connection of computers impossible because there will be contamination Maybe electronics will survive, but isolated in a micro level. And that, all that will reduce our impact greatly, and that's the first thing we had to do, have much less of an impact. Because we have less stuff, we consume less, and ultimately we live a shorter life because we are exposed now to all kinds of viruses, new and old, because vaccines are not something you can do in a little village, in a little community that is doing farming and a small industry. So we consume less, we have much less of an impact per person. The resources we take are much less per person. We live shorter and our numbers are reduced with time. And then the planet survives for our children and great-grandchildren and their great-grandchildren. It is necessary. We cannot continue like this. Here I am in the Amazonia in front of this majestic river and there are lights pouring from the towns and houses. And houses in the jungle, on the river. People are settling down in places we shouldn't be at. And if we don't change in a measured way with a rather magnanimous virus or viruses, we may have to change violently, suddenly, by something that decimated us much more strongly and differently. We have a chance, we are being given a chance. This pandemic right now in 2020 is being very merciful. I always struck by the mercifulness of this pandemic. But then we are taking it too lightly, not reacting enough no being radical, no going to the root of the problem. And there are that many warnings we are going to get before we are wiped out because we are the virus. We are the virus taking over Earth. I've taken over Earth and we're killing our host. And some think that we're going to jump to another host through in interplanetary travel. <laughs> uh, what a way to avoid the problem and what a way to suffer a self-deception. There's no time. It's happening right now. And right here, 
there's the new viruses to be released. Those bats, those stray dogs, those kind of combinations, those, those are going to bring new viruses from deep in the jungle. Those gold diggers that go up the mountains, up river, they're going to encounter the new viruses that are waiting there. They're personal minds, they are people minds, they are there as the ultimate insurance or the final insurance because once we have reached places like that, the top of mountains, deep into the rainforest, we're gonna encounter we're gonna encounter the last safety switch or fuse or virus that take us out. We can howl all the way to the cliff and uh, run into the cliff one after the other. And we'll be gone from this blue planet. And somewhere else, maybe the effort is being started again.